Hello, my ladies and pretty gentlemen. Welcome to a new season and a fresh episode of Look What's Happening in the Spirit Realm with yours truly, Light. Welcome back. Today, I'm hearing... I'm hearing that you've been living on people's projections of you for a long, long time. And in many ways, people have discredited you. It doesn't matter if you're 10 times better at whatever it is that you do. There's been an energy of you not being quite hurt enough to receive care. You not being quite successful enough to be appreciated. There's been an energy of mediocrity that people have approached you with. And these are the people that could have even worked hard on themselves to be better. See, when it comes to you, there is a sense of comfort that people have. Like, oh, they can actually take off all their fake personalities. They can take off the effort that they usually put in for people who are less than happy with them. They can just take everything off and give you the bare minimum. And you would still be able to see past their flaws. You would still be able to find that person inside them that is healed and trying and their intention. You see, you've lived off of people projecting their intentions onto you, which made you work 10 times harder because their intentions were ill. Meanwhile, they were making it appear like they had the intention you had for them for you. If that makes sense. So this is the bottom of the floor that's opening up come June. Because I've mentioned in May, we've been kind of in this back room situation where we were bringing, there were a lot of shadowy aspects, not even just of yourself, but the people that you know, that was coming back in for you to deal with in a way that almost felt helpless, like you were just observing at this point, the depth and the degree that people, including yourself, would go to in order to feel a sense of security in whatever fashion. Come June, I'm picking up an energy of complete detachment from you. I'm picking up an energy that really now you have learned how to put your best foot forward and expect nothing at all in return. Not even that, but to not try at all. This is what Spirit is telling me. And Spirit told me this point blank period very directly and I made a very short TikTok yesterday night. But do less my dear lovers, do less, do very less, the least, do the least. Spirit is saying, I will have them do the most. You see, you always respond too early. You always try to care about people because you step into their shoes and you make it your job, even though you feel like, oh, it's still not enough. You make it your job to literally study people down to their minute details of what they want, what they like, their energy shifts. All of this, I'm picking up an energy this month for June. That your knowledge, your insight has doubled in May. Your insight about people and how you even deal with it, it has doubled. Your intuition has increased. And in this process, you have lost the care or the the desire to be met with an energy that you know you deserve. So what this is allowing you to do is to let go and to do the least. Because a lot of you, you believe that your best isn't good enough because you've been living on projections of people, projections of you or projections of themselves onto you. So... You've become a master at a lot of things in ways that people would never lift a finger to credit you with because there is an opinion that they have felt comfortable holding, a position that they refuse to shift you out of in their life. And it doesn't matter what kind of credentials, it doesn't matter if you literally transform into a billionaire right before them. They would always treat you as though you are the person who doesn't really have much to say, who doesn't really have the the knowledge of how, I've always mentioned this in my channel, of how reality works. 
You're disconnected. And now, this is what I'm receiving for June. You don't care anymore. This feeling of having needing to prove that you are guilt-free, that you care, that you are there for people, that you that you don't want to take advantage of them, that you're willing to take accountability for your actions and still be better. This energy, you're being released from this burden that you've been put under since you were a kid. You're moving into a stage in your life right now, if you're getting this message, where you literally don't give a flying fuck. And I've mentioned this before, but it's a, it's a kind of I don't care that's not personal at all. You see, there's only so much mediocrity that people can take. There's only so much mediocrity that someone can receive from people Especially if that someone has raised themselves up to be 10, 15 times better and still, still being treated like they are the handicap, they are the the less than capable group member, family member, friend member, whatever the case, co-worker, that still needs to be treated with some type of I want to I want to say like a tone that discredits your suffering, a tone that discredits your skills and the work that you've put in. These people want to be a benefactor of the life that you are providing for yourself. These are the same people that watched you face down as you struggled and that came in with a sense of superiority. Oh God, God did see them at that moment. And this is exactly why you have received blessings before them. It's because their intentions and the way that they were approaching you, the way that they were trying to help you came from a place of feeling like they were justified, that they were they were holding the position that they want to see themselves in in comparison to you. I have mentioned this before. You threaten people. You threaten people because you're not okay with the bare minimum. You're not okay with giving people your 50%, 30%. Well, guess what? A lot of people out there are okay giving and receiving 10, 15, 20%. And this is why your 100% was met with 1 to 0 negative percent. It's because you have provided unrealistic expectations. You are something that they cannot relate with. You have perhaps even dealt with a lot more pain, abuse, mistreatment, failure than they can possibly wrap their mind around. But the only reason that they exaggerate, like I mentioned, Samantha's pain over yours is because you have literally escalated to a level where you're no longer relatable, where you are dealing with bigger chips. You're dealing with bigger issues. You need to get this through. And come June, you have. What I'm seeing is this. In my mind's eye, I see a person who is enjoying their own presence. Who has finally learned that they don't really need to give their energy at all. At all. Spirit is going to do the opposite for you this month. Spirit is going to reward you. As you do the least. As you take your time responding maybe even if you don't want to don't if you don't want to just don't don't you don't have to spirit is gonna send you two three four infinite more opportunities and options you need to put down the role that people have projected onto you to play for them you see You've, be, you've been like a giant, some kind of elephant, some kind of um, thing, an oracle, thing that they can bounce off of. While at the same time, bringing their issues, bringing their lackluster energy so that you can deal with it for them. You see, you thought that you were cursed, that you were dealing with all this pain alone and that people don't even have understand you and you going about explaining what you're going through to people was worse than just dealing with it alone because they made it impossible for you to even lean on them all of this you may have felt like oh god 
I'm better off dead. Perhaps I'm the issue. You never were. And this energy right here that I'm talking about today, it has nothing to do with rage. It has nothing to do with revenge. And it has absolutely nothing, nothing to do with hatred. It has everything to do with surrender. Because you, my dear, your energy, people feel your energy in a deep way. And this is why they have made you feel like you were trying to either exclude them, you were trying to make yourself difficult to understand, that you were trying to uh, be something that you weren't. They only felt this way because they can't comprehend. They can't comprehend the situations, the pain that you've dealt with. They cannot relate with you. Have you ever seen stories where people have went through some horrific stuff? They are giving their story and we're standing there like, I can't believe they dealt with that. But these people, through that pain, have literally broken the glass ceiling. They have awoken in a way that their language, the way that they speak, the way that they see the pain that they have dealt with is something that's completely ungraspable to those of us who have not experienced what they've experienced. This is you at this moment. And these people, out of habit, will try to make you feel small. They will try to make you feel like you're not in pain enough. It doesn't matter if you're actively getting molested. It doesn't matter if you're actively like in a shootout. It doesn't matter if you have cancer and you're dying. These people will always bring their issues forward to you. As though you can never be in pain enough to need support. <laughs> you are like a god to these people I in this sense and not even in an egoic way. It's that the way that they have approached you and treated you is as though you are a giant, something other than human. So what Spirit is saying this month is you do the least. You do the least because that is the way. That is the way you're going to receive everything and then some. Because what you have thought was not enough is an unrealistic expectation of relationship, friendship, workship. You have set the bar so high in these things that you can just relax. That's what spirit is saying. You don't have to be on your best behavior. You don't. These energies are going to double down for you. They are going to be your servant. You are going to be served because you are serving people. You are transmuting all this heavy gunk that you've been left alone to do so. And so spirit is saying, relax, take it easy. You don't have to approach people with 100% energy, not you. If this message resonated, you are not supposed to approach people with 100% of your energy because they cannot, will not handle it. It will backfire and they will turn against you. You're not on the same sphere as they are. They are, in many ways, here to serve you because you are serving them in a way that they cannot see or be grateful for or appreciate. So this new season, this new energy I'm picking up on is that of detachment and it's not personal. And everything that you have been either waiting for, or you've transmuted enough to let go and you really don't care for, <laughs> whether that is moving to a new location, a relationship, whatever that is, you're going to have several different options to pick from as this energy of detachment, of non-exclusivity, of this energy of exclusivity where you are holding your energy exclusive to yourself, knowing the weight and the value of it because of everything that you've been through. You're going to get. I want to say, I'm, I'm getting this energy of somebody being like, being able to pick from several different things 
because they they are of not they're not of this world anymore they're not wanting anymore they're recentered and refocused so with that being said i i'm excited for june let me know how you feel and as usual please remember i don't reach out ever never never if you want a reading or a personal anything my email is in the description box my book is also down there if you want to read about all these <sighs> I need to get the fuck out of here. But <laughs> with that being said, until next time, my dears, bye.